name is Dibola Falano. I am a freelance hairstylist and makeup artist. Um, I've done hair um, for as long as I, rem I can remember. However, I switched careers to become professionally a makeup artist and a hairstylist in 2009. <laughs> Interesting, exciting, difficult, um, misunderstood. <laughs> Uh, all sorts of emotion just all come piled into one, I guess, yeah. I choose to answer the question this way. <laughs> I don't think I have difficult clients, I think I have dif difficult situations. Because a lot of times, your idea of beauty can be different from what the person thinks makes them look beautiful. So that's the importance of consultation. You kind of have to talk to your client and understand what their idea of what they want to look like is and then merge that with what your professional outlook is and be able to come up with something. But I've had plenty of difficult situations where people think they should look a certain way, especially if you have a creative brief that calls for them to look a certain way, but they don't feel as though they're pretty enough, so they're kind of changing their look while we're working and you kind of have to explain to them, look, the look and the creative brief calls for this look, not for you to look beautiful. So. Um, that's the plan. Um, I don't think I want to do, I'm a very, um, tunnel visioned person for lack of better words. Um, I don't think I'm the type of person to do a whole range of products. Um, I want to target specific problems. Um, I want to do products that kind of help the individual not to depend on external things such as extensions and um, extensions are good don't get me wrong because you know African there we, we need options but I want products that can actually help as opposed to just a range of products so eventually by the grace of God it's gonna come soon weaves is important to every woman <laughs> like people people like try to you know put it all on us and it's like no, I worked in salons in New York City. I see the amount of non-Afro African women that come in there and I know the amount of weave that they wear. All women wear extensions. I think it's about options. I don't I think women want options. They want to be able to look different if they're feeling different. Um so I just think weave is an, is an enhancement. Where I have a problem with it, whether it's in Africa or America, because I've seen it too, is when you solely depend on it like you don't take care of the hair that you have underneath you just use it as a cover-up and you don't care to take care of what god has given you naturally that's what i have an issue with and that's one of the reasons why i opened up my shop as well is to you can wear the weeds if you want but if you decide you don't want to wear the weeds anymore your hair underneath is good too so